Hey friends, welcome back to Balloon with Miss B. Today we are talking rounding. So there are a couple ways that we can round to the nearest 10. First is by following a fun little rhyme. Find your place, look next door, five or greater, add one more. Four below, let it go. So let me show you one while following that rhyme. So if we have the number 38. Step one is going to be find my place, and that means place value. So we always start with our ones, and because we're rounding to the nearest 10, we're going to underline the number in the tens place, which is the three. Now I'm going to look next door, which is going to be at the eight. So I'm gonna look at this eight and ask myself, is this five or greater? Add one more, or four below, let it go. So is eight greater than five or less than five? Well, let's see if I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. There's five, it's much more than five. So I'm going to add one more. So what is three plus one? Four, and then that's gonna turn to a zero. We round 38 to 40. Also because it's closer to 40 than it is to 30. We can really see this by making a number line. So now I'm going to do a totally different number, still following that rhyme, but this time doing more of a number line. So this time let's make it 54. Step one, I need to find my place. So I'm going to draw my two chart, ones, tens. We are rounding to the nearest 10, so I'm gonna underline the number in the tens place, which is the five. Now step two, look next door. So I'm going to look next door at this four, but I'm also going to look next door as far as making a number line. So I'm going to draw my number line here and whatever number this is, so this is five, but this is five ten. So technically that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we are going to start that number line at 50 and we can only go up 10. So we're gonna do So from here, I'm gonna see 54. That's my one, so I see here is 54. And actually, anything over that five or more, five or greater, add one more, four below, we're going to let it go. We can also just see that this four is closer to 50 than it is to 60. So if we go one, two, three, four, so that only takes four, pops backwards. Well, if we went forward, it would take one, two, three, four, five. It would take six. And we wanna go the shortest way possible. So we're going to do four, which brings us to 50. So we are going to round 54 down to 50. So which one do you like better? Do you like following the rhyme and just looking if it's five or more? Or do you like making a number line to physically hop and see how many more hops it takes? Should we jump up and add one more to the ten? Or is it less than four and we should just leave it and go? All right, so that's random to the nearest 10. Next video will be random to the nearest 100 where we're gonna follow the same steps, but it's just gonna be a little different. See you then guys, and remember, keep on blooming.